Watch you guys got another video here for you on everything you need on one USB flash drive. You can set up your USB flash drive with all of the software you use on a regular basis. So if you want to scan for malware with Kaspersky, you can have that on your USB flash drive, whether it will be backing up data, removing passwords, whether it will be, uh, you know, just about anything you want to do with that USB flash drive. As a PC repair tech, you can keep all of your software on one USB drive and it's really useful to do. Now you can use Sardu multi-boot USB um, and DVD creator. This will allow you to create a bootable USB flash drive with loads of different types of software, whether it be WinPE or anything like that, you can add it to your USB flash drive with this piece of software. Now it's not free, but it's well worth uh, taking a look at because it's a pretty decent bit of kit and I'll show you it right now. And what I'll do is I'll show you how to create a nice bootable USB flash drive with all of your uh, useful software that you use on a daily basis. Now you're gonna need to get yourself a USB flash drive, a pretty decent one, try and get a 32 gig or a 64 gig and uh, plug that into your computer. You can see I've got mine plugged in here and uh, I've already named the drive uh, Sardu. So what we're gonna do here is open up the folder. Once you've downloaded it, you can then basically start up the software itself. So this is it here. Now this piece of software is very powerful and it gives you full control of creating your own bootable USB flash drives with all the software that you're gonna need. So let's take a look at how we can do it. So you wanna click on this bit here and this will search for the USB flash drive you've got plugged in. You can see it's now recognized that and it tells me that whether you're running NTFS or whether you're running FAT32 and you can then go ahead and click OK here. Now you can uh, enable NTFS in the menu system up here by going to this area enable NTFS support and click OK or you can just build um, a FAT32 uh, drive it's entirely up to you which you want to do okay so you should now see the drive has been recognized and it's down the bottom here and it gives you all the information so what we can do now is go to the sections on the left hand side here this is your antivirus section so you can add in as many of these as you like so I'm just going to add in a few here just to show you. You can download them directly from here and it will put them straight into uh, the folder on the uh, desktop here. This is where I've got my folder uh, based, but you can select any of these. So I'm going to go for Kaspersky Rescue Disk here. When you select it, it'll say, do you want to download Kaspersky Rescue Disk? And you can click yes, and it will then take you to the download page, which uh, is this big green arrow here. You should see it listed here. There's a bunch of them I've already done, which is uh, Dr. Webb's Live CD. And also we've got one of them here. So let me just remove one of these. If you want to remove them from the download list here, what you need to do is highlight them and delete, and it will remove them from the download list. You can either hit that delete or hit the little recycle bin at the end there. So I've got these two ready to come down. You can see the size of them. I haven't started it yet, but if I do, click on the start here which I'll do in a second when I've got all of these selected we'll go ahead and download them so let me go ahead and uh, find something else here that we can use so I'm just looking through the list and uh, I think I'm just gonna do uh, maybe a Cronus anti malware or something like that that might be a useful one to have on there so you can see one here so I'll probably do this one as well and uh, let's just say yes and you'll see the green uh, download button there. Then they're not coming down just yet, but when I go there, I'll be able to start this off and start downloading them. So you can see I can do up to five here with this account. And when I hit this start button here, these three items will start to download. This will be Dr. Webb's live CD coming down. It'll also be Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 coming down and a Cronus anti-malware coming down as well and you can see them downloading right there. So that does take a bit of time and uh, you can select out what you wanna do there. So it's quite nice to have these downloading. Now while they're downloading, you can go ahead and start selecting other things for your bootable USB flash drive. So you can make a utility one, you can make an antivirus one, or you can make a complete mixed version with antivirus utilities, Linux, Windows, WinPE, all that sort of stuff. You can add them all to the list depending on the size of your drive, 
will determine how many items you can add to it but you should be able to add quite a few now this is a 64 gigabyte usb flash drive so you can add a bunch of stuff here and all i need to do is let these download and we can then move on to some other things that we want to uh, download and select for our build now once you've got all your isos downloaded you can put the tick in them here and you can test the iso uh, that you've downloaded here so let me just highlight this and click open and you'll see it open up and this will show you exactly what it's going to look like when it boots up here so it is working correctly so we know that's good so if you want to try another one here let me just show you one more so do you want to add uh, persistence to a Cronus anti-malware so you can either say yes or no here you can set the dimensions of the persistence file for a Cronus anti-malware inside here if you want to click OK and that will do that for you now when you click on test you can click uh, test the Cronus and you can see now it's showing how it will look inside the menu there so we now got all these tested now there's some other things you can do as well so I'm just going to say yes or no here I'm going to save this click OK and we're putting the ticks in so we can add these to our USB flash drive now there is also some utilities here which you can use in this area so you can see there's Linux here Windows all sorts of good stuff so you can see OMI Backupper and I've got some other bits here you've got some Linux stuff here also we've got Wins, Win uh, 7 PE Windows 10 PE we've got Hirons got a bunch of good software here lists and lists of them so you can go through here and have a good look at what you want to add now once you've got these all downloaded and added so now that we have all our items selected they should be blue ticked like that and also we've got them downloaded we can now click on create uh, Sardu a bootable USB flash drive it will then go ahead and start extracting all the information and putting it onto a USB flash drive so it's going to copy all the Sardu uh, folders and files that it needs to make this a bootable USB flash drive with that software and it will also copy over and extract all of our ISO images you can see them here getting copied over uh, the ones we've downloaded so I've just done probably about five ISOs here just to show you and once that's done I'll be able to show you what it looks like so you can see it downloading and this is the actual drive here you can see it's now copying all the information over to my USB flash drive this is a Cronus rescue disk and a bunch of other ones on there which we've already uh, gone through in this video so once this is all uh, done you'll see it copying the data across it does take a bit of time depending on how many you're going to be adding to your USB flash drive will determine how long this process takes so you can also at a later date add more uh, to your drive so if you want to add more ISOs to your drive at a later date you can do that quite easily with this software all you need to do is go in and remove the ticks uh, from the previous ones that you've uh, copied across and put ticks in new ones and download those ISOs and copy them across it's that simple so we'll speed this process up here so you don't have to wait but you can see here it's just extracting the archive which is the uh, Kaspersky rescue disk it's working on that at the moment and once it's extracted all the contents there it'll put those onto the USB flash drive for us it's now doing a bunch of other ones here and once that's complete you will get a message popping up saying it's now completed and uh, we can now test this USB flash drive with QEMU uh, which is built into the software here we can run the test and it shows you what our menu system is going to look like when we boot up to this uh, so it looks pretty decent we've got menu tools menu antivirus and menu uh, utilities and this will have all the ISOs that we've added in here like a Cronus, Dr. Webbs, Kaspersky and uh, also a bunch of tools in here we've added in NT password, IOMI backupper and so on yours may look much more different because you may have added more stuff uh, to this okay and uh, so you can add in whatever you like there is heaps of tools and software inside here you can put in Hiron's Boot CD uh, WinPEs which are very very useful with all your tools so that is basically how that works you can see the USB flash drive here is nicely listed out here we've got the folders with all of the content inside there very simple and easy to do and you can add to it at a later date if you wish 
So as you can see, pretty straightforward and easy to do. If you want to see a more in-depth video with this piece of software, then let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know what software you use or what sort of videos you want to see, and I'll do those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.